Hello, is that you, Marty? Gallagher. Look, look, get over to my place quickly, will you? And bring that camera, pal. Yeah, yeah, it's hot. Now get over here before it boils over. I didn't know if anything was up. It was a fascinating clutch. Hey, Pete, you got a match? I called that 20 by second. I think I'm out of the street. Out of the street? Lobby at a Biltmore. What do you mean out of the street? Hello, Mr. Willis. Haven't seen you around lately. Huh? Yeah, that's right. What happened with you and Gallagher? Did the milk of romance slightly curdle? Well, uh, shall we say temporarily sour, old boy? She thinks I shoot craps with loaded dice. Has it got anything to do with that Washington assignment you and her went on last week? Where she lost her expense account? Her expense account? Where is she now? Upstairs. Let's go in here and see what's going on. Right. And another thing, Murphy. I don't believe... Hey, what is this? Who called you in, Willis? I have little birdies working for me, Max. Little birdies with golden wings. Oh, yeah? Someday I'm going to clip them golden wings for you. Good. Mm -hmm. I don't believe a word of your whole story. Before you start clipping, how about give me a match? Joe Willis is dead on a mackerel. He's been... And he's been that way for a long time. Boy, you never can tell. You say you saw him, Murph? Uh, so what are you suggesting? That we, we conduct, conduct a house-to-house -house canvas in search of the body? And on this kind of evidence? I don't care what you do from now on. You're not letting this thing upset you, are you, Mike? Tell me more about it, Murph. Where did I grab the shot? What shot? Hey, what is it? What are you trying to fall, Willis? I don't know. He's not my boy. Well, Gallagher called me. That's all I know. She was all excited about something she had and wanted me to take some pictures. Gallagher. Who the blazes is Gallagher? Ah, she's some gal lives upstairs. That's nothing to do with the newspapers. Well, go on home. We ain't got nothing to photograph. The dame has plans up on it. I don't know. Maybe I'll do that. Well, she's gone to bed. Yeah, she's retarded for the evening. She called downstairs a few minutes ago and told me to tell you that it was all a mistake. A mistake? Yeah. No, oh, no, that ain't like Gallagher. She don't play a hunch Oh, believe me, pal. She'd be highly insulted if you ever spoil her sleep. In fact, she'd be inflamed. Yeah. That's the last. Spoil her sleep. Oh, sorry, I'll lie. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> what are you figuring, Pete? See you later. Oh, well, let me go with you. Maybe I can help you. I said later. All right, I'll be around. Yeah, practice on this till I come back. Ah, thanks, Pete. Mucho gracias.
I'll get to it right away. Murphy, I can't get this thing anymore on my chest. Will you quit shoving my chair around? Why don't you get out of here? Why should I? I told you that this happens to be my place of employment. Uh, I'll send over a couple of the boys and you can scout around. Maybe I'll find something. Or maybe you won't. Oh, I just got a hurry call to look into a shooting a couple blocks away. You want to go? No, thanks. I'm going home. You know, early to bed, early to rise. Well, any way you want it. Uh-huh. Now, you wait around outside. The trial car will pick you up. Any new developments? I don't know yet. Well, thanks for calling, Fudge. I'll see you around. Right. Good night, Mr. May. Good night, Mr. Willis. Take care of yourself, Pete. I'll go put on the night light in the back. You'll be ready now. I'm just telephoning the police. Do you want to still get us in trouble? We got something on a miss. That stiff is really rigor mortis. But I got to telephone the police. What are you doing? Using last year's brains? You know what'll happen if you call in the cops? They'll throw bright lights in your eyes. They'll give you the rubber hose treatment. They'll break you down. Break me down? For what? For what? Now, there's a clever injection. For killing that guy out there. That's for what? Oh, I didn't kill him. He got in here by mistake. You try to tell the cops that. You seen what happened to my old man, didn't you? They'll think you had a motor. You'll be a felon. What we gotta do is get rid of that body. Oh, get rid of the body. You mean hide out in the street behind some ash cans? Is that what you mean? Have it bounced back on you in the morning? Oh, no. Gotta get it out of the neighborhood. Way out. Oh, my goodness, out of the neighborhood. But how? Well, we'll take the cost and put it in your car and deposit it someplace far away in this vicinity. Yeah, yeah. Come on, let's get your car. Get the car. Oh, my hat. Yeah, my cigar. Business? 
If my uh, price isn't right, it won't make any difference. That's the body of Joe Wells. Lucky I slept up yesterday, isn't it? A little bit failed to impress me, Miss. Gallagher. Sue Gallagher. Will you stop scaring me with that gun? If this is a gag and Pete Wallace sent you. Let's not get away from the subject, Miss Gallagher. If you haven't got the body of Joe Wells in this apartment, I'm convinced that you know where it is. You see, I followed the blood spot from the Empress Hotel across the alleyway to your staircase. And now this. I know he was shot, and I know he couldn't have dragged himself much further. Where is he? All right, what's the use? The body's downstairs in the exhibit. Ah, now we're getting somewhere. I don't imagine you want to meet the cops who are down there. Oh, now, Miss Gallagher, let's be honest with each other. We both heard the police car drive away a few minutes ago. That's too bad. I'll follow you. That is a moot question. Answer it, but be careful what you say. Hello? Oh, McAndrews. Hey, listen, Elaine Brain. What do you mean getting Marty out on a wild brain job for nothing, huh? The night editor is upset. <laughs> 